no beef with you. Hey, this is messed up. <laughs> Welcome to episode 20. You might have noticed that the audio was a bit weird, but I'll talk about that later. Right now, let's pick it up where I left off. So I've been circling these boats for a little moment, and uh, I'm just going to replenish all my uh, expendable stuff. Let's be bad for just a moment. Alright guys, now you definitely see it. I'm telling you right now, you might not want to keep on watching this episode. You see, this is another one of those files that got corrupted by Shadowplay. And you're watching my half-assed attempt at recovering it. You have probably noticed already that the audio is a bit out of sync with the video. You see, this is mainly because Shadowplay records with a variable frame rate, and the only editing software that will accept Look the current me, file, Man, well, it doesn't take very well to variable Maybe. frame rates. Bummer. I knew this going in, but I really wanted to be able to watch this footage all the way. So I did this for my own personal per per for my own personal, personal <laughs> pleasure, and whether you like it or not doesn't matter much. I figure that since I have the footage, why not use it? Now, every time I get these corrupt files, they will play all right for about five or six minutes, and then I get an error in the media player. So I did try to just cut the bad part out, but that didn't work out. What happens in my editing software is that one will load the file, but it's like four hour long. The audio track looks like it lasts the whole length of the video, but that's just an illusion. When looking closely at the audio patterns, it's as if the audio loops over and over and over, you know? It's like the same piece of audio all the time. But when I load it in the other software, I still see the far four hour long video, which plays back extremely slow motion, by the way. But I clearly see the end of the audio which is the proper length. Now this enables me to cut the empty bit of the audio out and then I can compress, if you will, 
the video by sliding the end up to the end of the audio track. And it's sped up accordingly. Now, this is when the variable frame rate comes around and bites me in the ass! You see, as I've mentioned, my software, my editing software, only accepts constant frame rates. This means that within a second, it accepts a specific number of frames. In this case, 60 frames. But the way Shadowplay records, some of the seconds will contain those 60 frames, but then other <laughs> seconds will contain less than 60 frames. Let's say that I have 25 frames in one particular second from Shadowplay. My editing software expects to see 60 frames to make a full second, but it only sees hmm. 25 frames. That can be hairy For my editing software, yeah. that's well, not a full second, that, uh, so it will take the next 35 frames that comes after that to complete that second. Effectively, it has pulled images forward in time relative to the audio which means that we will see those images before hearing the cor right? corresponding Maybe. audio. Hence, why we saw the boat hitting the dock well before we yes. heard the hit. And at a certain point, the opposite also can come true. You'll have more frames than what is supposed to be in, in a second, and you'll hear the sound before you see the action. Check out which we just saw right there, track. because the Ferrari took off quite some time after we heard it. So I'll let you guys watch this fix a contract and marvel in this weirdness of uh, computer oh. technology. <laughs> This is a donut car. I don't think I can collapse on a donut. Ah. <laughs> Man, I don't know if I can climb this car. This is not a good donut car. Hi, scrambled scar. Does it have damage already? Doesn't look like it does. Shortcut's gonna take.
tiger spikes and colors in the butt. By the way, I mentioned the lag spikes in the original footage. Uh, I've done some research on this bug and a lot of the time it seems to happen when there's a lot of lag spikes in the game. So I might want to watch out for that next time I play and record at the same time. Porsche. And why do they all look nice? Now right here I'm talking about the Porsches that are in yeah. fixer missions because this particular model of Porsche when you just find it randomly in the game it's always like rusty and in bad condition and I think I even mentioned it later in the game footage Crazy. It's too bad I damaged the car. It looks so nice without all the rust and shit. It's in mint condition. It's probably why they wanted it delivered. Okay, mission is here. Campaign. So, let's go back. Let's get this uh, truck here. Okay. She's ready when you are. Where was I going? Here? What the hell are you doing? You swerving. Swerving. Some call him a criminal, while others say he's a hero. <coughs> what we do know is that he's the vigilante who's been roaming the Chicago streets for months. Just who is Aiden Pierce? Our research has come up with conflicting reports. We have some evidence that he was once married. But then another report says he's never been married. We know he has a sister. But then some say he also has a brother. There's no evidence to back up most of the speculations. One definitive fact is that a young girl, Lena Pierce, was killed in a car accident. An accident that some police say was a gang hit. Alright, I'll keep this fixer contract for the next video, because <laughs> that one plays nice. Hey, where's my truck? So, this is it. Thank you a lot for watching, if you watched through. I mean, I understand if you didn't. Um, but yeah, if you wa watch this, you're a champion. You're awesome. Alright. As always... Uh, what did I always say? Yeah, I forgot. Um, oh, right. As always, have a good one. <laughs>